Hey guys, welcome back. So now we're doing number four, and the question asks, which of the following expressions has the same value as cosine of negative 225 degrees? So first of all, just kind of thinking about the relationship between sine, cosine, and tangent. I'm going to assume that it's going to be either sine or cosine, because if you think about the waves, they're actually the same, there's just a phase shift. So for example, if I were to draw you the cosine wave, oops, it would look something like this. And if I were to draw you a sine wave, it would look something like this. So if you notice that these, these waves are gonna actually have the same values just at different points in time. So just making an educated guess, I would say we can most likely eliminate B but let's go ahead and work through the problem and make sure that we can for sure. So I went ahead and pasted a picture of the cosine, sine, and tangent values on the right-hand side um, for the respective quadrants. So this is quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. I did a review of, or I guess I went a little bit more in depth of why these values are positive, negative, positive or negative in my video for the solution to the first question if you want to review that but I'm going to assume you guys have already seen that and are pretty comfortable with this table so since we're dealing with the cosine of negative 225 the first thing I'm going to do is figure out where that is so if this is zero degrees actually I'm gonna use blue for this so if this is zero degrees here this is going to be negative 90 degrees. This is going to be negative 180 degrees. This is going to be negative 270 degrees. This can also be negative 360. So going the other way, let's go ahead and draw the positive values. I'll draw those in, let's just do red. So this is positive 90 degrees. This is positive 180 degrees. This is positive 270 degrees, and this is 360 degrees. So let's go ahead and start with negative 225. So that is going to be negative 90, negative 180, and that's going to be actually right in the middle of negative 180 and negative 270. So this here is negative 225 degrees. So in its positive form, what is that going to be? That is going to be... 135 degrees. So the first thing we're going to notice is that since it's in the second quadrant, our answer is going to be negative, and that's going to turn out to be a very important thing to note. So we know that this is going to be negative. Okay, so going from there, let's just go ahead and look at the signs of our answers. So sine of 225 225 degrees is right here. I'll draw this contender in pink. And since that is in the third quadrant, this answer is going to be negative. So let's go ahead and write that negative. All right, so that means that that's still a contender. Now let's go ahead and do sine of negative 225 degrees. So sine of negative 225 is going to be this same purple line here, and that means the sine is going to be positive. So this is positive, and that means we can actually eliminate this already because we know it's going to be a positive value, not a negative one. Now, look at, now let's look at cosine and sine of 45. I will draw those in, let's do orange. So 45 degrees is going to be here, and again, since we're in the first quadrant, we're gonna see that both cosine and sine are positive. So this is positive, we can cross that out. This is also gonna be positive, so we can cross that out. So now we are basically left with the sine of 225 or the tangent of 135. And I am 99.9% .9 sure it is not B, but I will go ahead and prove that to you by proving that the sine of 225 does in fact equal the cosine of negative 225. So let's see, since this is our line here, our theta is going to equal 45 degrees. And that's gonna mean if we draw this triangle, this is one since we're dealing with a unit circle, 
And if you remember, if you have this memorized, you're going to know that this is equal to root 2 over 2, and this is equal to root 2 over 2. However, well, sorry, this would actually be negative. Um, however, if you don't have that memorized, you can figure it out if you know that this length is going to be the same as this length, since this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So if you forgot these lengths, what you could do is let's say you just call this side a and this bottom side a, you could use the Pythagorean theorem. So a squared plus a squared equals one, two a squared equals one, a squared equals one half, square root that, a equals square root one over two, equal to one over root two times root two times root two. This becomes root two over two. So I know I went through that pretty quickly, um, and I do recommend you kind of have this memorized, or at least kind of know that if the hypotenuse is 1 and it's a 45 degree angle, both of these sides are going to be equal to root 2 over 2. Well, plus or minus root 2 over 2. So going back to the original problem. So the cosine of this, if you remember from SOKATOA, we know that cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's going to be adjacent. So negative root 2 over 2 over the hypotenuse, which is 1. So this is simply equal to negative root 2 over 2. That is a negative. Oh, that still doesn't look like a negative. Okay. So now the sine of 225 is in pink here. And let's go ahead and do the same thing for this. So there. So now this is, again, a 45-degree angle. This length is 1. This side here is still negative root 2 over 2, and this side is going to be negative 2, sorry, negative root 2 over 2. So now, the sine of that, sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, so we are going to do the opposite side here, which is negative root 2 over 2 over 1, so it's just itself, and there we go. We have proven that the cosine of negative 225 degrees is equal to the sine of positive 225 degrees. All right, well, I hope that was helpful, and if you have any additional questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments box, and I will try to get back to you. All right, thank you for watching.